This 2.7 acre lot used to look a lot different before the groundbreaking in 2022. Now this farm was designed to serve the community that surrounds our station, which includes students and a growing community of new Americans. There's, there's great access here. They've, been, they've got neighbors that are able to just walk right across uh, for the parking lot and be able to come in and, and, and garden. Uh, but it's, there's easy access uh, and, and there's, there's just a, a great uh, ability for folks to be able to partake and, and be a part of uh, this from all kinds of different communities. Six years ago, a full service grocery store less than half a mile away closed, leaving local residents with limited options to find healthy, affordable food. It really is a gift to the neighbors that are here. You know, to them that you know, the first time I visited this, you know, with Ken, you know, we were walking around seeing you know five-gallon tubs, of people growing in the parking lot over there, growing along the fence line, trying to grow fruits and vegetables because they live in an apartment complex with all asphalt around it. So to be able for them to come in and have you know the community gardening space, grow their own food here. The urban farm combines traditional and modern agricultural techniques, such as vertical growing towers, greenhouses, and community garden boxes. This grant is going to really allow us to take this uh, location for Mid Ohio Farms at NBC4 uh, to the next level. As you can see behind me, we've already begun a lot of the work here to put uh, the newer growing systems in that we're hoping to really showcase to the community uh, at large uh, and teach people here in the community how to grow food in new ways. Educating the community is a big part of the Mid Ohio Farm at NBC4. We want to be able to show our neighbors, uh, those that run or, you know, urban gardens or urban farms, or even just those that are growing in their backyard or basement. Here's some new efficient growing methods where it loses less water, right? We can teach new ways to get more efficiency out of the food that we're growing. And fighting food insecurity in Franklin County continues to be a top priority. The most variable part of your budget is food. You know, and so you got if you don't pay your rent, you're gonna get kicked out. You know, if you don't pay your car payment, you're gonna lose the car, that kind of thing. If you pay those bills, then, and food costs keep going up, then we're there to help. And I think that's the reality is we're seeing more and more people struggling. The goal is to produce more than 250,000 pounds of fresh produce each year. Local for you at the Mid-Ohio Farm at NBC4, I'm Jackie Gillis.